Well, there was no argument among city council members about the need and desire to support the Cincinnati Police Department, but what they were arguing about was really the wording in this motion. Several council members did not want the word defund to be in this. Instead, they wanted the word abolish to be in the motion. So instead, it would say uh, the Cincinnati City Council does not support abolishing the Cincinnati Police Department. But uh, the council member who put out this motion, Betsy Sunderman, did not want that change. And the only vote that actually happened today was a vote to not vote on the current motion. Now this is important because regardless of the vote or not, it's really forcing council members to publicly state on the record where their support comes and stands when it comes to the police department, which hasn't really officially happened yet here in Cincinnati. Now it's likely an amended version of this will be voted on next week after there are some changes made in committee. As still Councilwoman Betsy Sunderman, she stands by her version and says that people deserve a clear answer on where city council stands on police funding. The citizens of Cincinnati deserve to know what city council wants. People are sending their kids to school here. They're starting businesses. They're buying houses. And I personally want to know if my colleagues want to defund the police. And it sounds like the majority of them do want to cut the funding. Now, the motion comes following weeks of summer protests and as other cities in the country are slashing police budgets like Philadelphia, Baltimore, Seattle and more. Now, this motion as is or even if it's amended with the word abolished, it makes no funding promises one way or the other. And it's also important to point out, which we've been stating all day today, is that this is a motion. It's not legally binding. So even if they pass it in any way, whether it's abolished or defund, the city administration is not held to any promises when it comes to either they're cutting or increasing funding for the police department. Reporting live from City Hall, Marielle Carbone, WCPO 9 News.